is going by Dan Unfiltered checking out Lamb of God, Ashes of the Wake. <sighs> my mind's all scrambled, man. I just heard a couple Behemoth songs for the first time in my life. I, I, I need to light some sage or some shit, man. I, I, I haven't been to church in 25 years. I may need to. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I've never been baptized. It might be time. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know. My life is all in ruins, but here comes Lamb of God. To either make things worse or to save the day. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's find out. This comes from Scuba Stevo. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have any requests, hit me up. What a day. Heard a couple of Behemoth songs the first time in my life. Now I've only heard a couple Lamb of God, but I've heard some. We're going to Ashes of the Wake. Let's go. Let's go. And it does feel like a band, like those two bands would have toured together. I don't know if they did or not, but it feels like it. You know what I mean? It feels like the same fan base would follow. Like, it would be okay. Like, they, the fan bases would mix perfectly well. Someone using one of those, what are those, the circular things with all the little tiny hi-hats in them, the little symbols? <laughs> Sounds like it. We killed a lot of innocent civilians. To us, every civilian in Baghdad was a terrorist. These oh. things are now in civilian clothes. That makes everybody free game. But if they came within our perimeter, we lit them up. And when we would pull the body out and we would search the car, we would find nothing. This took place time and time again. No harm, no foul. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Because this is a new type of war. This is an eradication. Not entirely mad about it. Not entirely mad about it. In war, there's... there's, there's, there's the rules of war, kind of. I don't really believe in rules of war. It's war! Oh, man. Ugh. That was sweet. A little symbol at the end. They start the song off with, with the guitar solo? That's a mean way to start a song, man. Is this just an instrumental? If vocals are if vocals are about to kick in right now, which it does sound like something's about to happen. Then that was one fucking hell of an intro to a song. <laughs> Three minutes with like two and a half different guitar solos that both just melted faces. Nasty. Nasty work. Nasty work. <laughs> Thank you. 
Is it just a instrumental? Just an instrumental, isn't it? Holy shit! And they're they're just letting basically the guitarist gets to be low key the vocalist here. If you know what I mean. Instrumental. All right. I feel like it's been a while since I had just a straight up instrumental. I don't know why more bands don't put an instrumental, just, just one, somewhere on your album. It's a nice change of pace. It is, especially when you have a guitarist that can just absolutely rip like that. Whoo! He ripped off what? We get four, four different complete full solos here that absolutely like cranked. Yikes. He got to cook. Hibachi. F about four minutes of this song. The just got to just, got it. just go in. No stopping. Didn't have to worry about when the singer's coming in. Didn't matter. It's my fucking time. My fucking time. I get five minutes on this whole album. Let me fucking go. And he got to fucking go, bro. Like, it, I just, I kind of was just, it was odd that they started a song with a guitar solo. You know, that's kind of rare. It does happen, but it's rare. But no, they didn't just start the song. That was the whole song. It was just different guitar solos. <sighs> Cooked. Cooked them. But yeah, I don't know why more bands don't do it. You don't need a whole album. You don't need three or four songs on it to be instrumental, but like one, maybe two. Just change it up. Change the pace. And also for your live shows, it is nice. That's when you're like, your singer can go drink a bottle of water real quick and maybe smoke a quick one backstage real fast and then come back out. You know, just give them a little, a little breather. A nice like five, six minute instrumental fits perfectly. Everyone can still mosh. Everyone can still enjoy themselves. Slipknot has a, a skin ticket, I think, on the Iowa album, I believe, where it's like, it's been a long time since I've heard that album. Great album, though. Got to re-listen to it. I'm going to do it on the channel. But uh, it's not 100% instrumental, because there are some like lines in it, but there aren't many. 
There are not many. So it's like that. It really it's like five minutes of setting a tone like that, just in Slipknot's eerie way. But man, let's fucking go. Did not expect that. But the guitarist absolutely ripped that. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think it, I mean, that's not a bad idea? Bands probably should have like one, maybe to start the album, to kick it off, get everyone fucking going, and have it kind of lead into whatever song two is. It's like, let's fucking go. Everyone gets pumped up. Yeah. It's kind of like a, like an intro, but it's an actual song. It's just all instrumental. And let the guitarist get it out of his system. Just, just let it out, bro. Let it out. You are still here. Lamb of God. You are. Great band. It still is. That's an, that's one of the best band names of all time. A real one. Ashes of the Wake wouldn't have been a bad band name either, though. Ashes of the Wake? It's not bad. 